everybody what's go oh <laughs> whoa brendan's here <laughs> brendan's just gotten home from school and he and i are leaving tomorrow night to go back to dc to fly back I, to dc I, dro I dropped something i'm gonna go pick it up all right, well, Brendan's picking something up. Uh, tomorrow night, he and I are flying on a red eye back to D.C. to visit my parents. And so Kevin will be here. Mm -hmm. And so tomorrow, while with Brendan... With pillow. With pillow. <laughs> pillow is not going anywhere. Kevin devised... Well, we'll show it in a minute. Kevin jerry-rigged this <laughs> it's not very good deal. So we're hoping... We got some potentially bad news the other day where our... Ugh. Ah! <sighs> Oh, Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> I get here good again. The update. Okay. Our building apparently has termites, and I know we we did a vlog about this a long time ago. Last it was year. Like last year it was like November or something, and I guess in the winter time is not like it's not like hot termite season in the <laughs> winter time. So they our were fairly dormant, I guess, the cold weather or something. I don't know. Yeah. So it's just not a big deal in the winter, but now, so nothing was ever done about it. But now that, you know, spring is sort of rolling into summer, I guess they figured it's time to do something about the termites. What are you doing? I'm smelling your hair. Oh, okay. Well, wait, it smells good. Okay. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> so now that it is spring rolling into summer, I guess they figured it's time to do something about the termites. And it's not just you have to remove yourself from your apartment, but right. you have to bag up all your stuff, like all your clothes, because they come in and they tent, you know, they tent the building for a reason because they're pumping poison. poison. <laughs> and so all of your stuff, all of your clothes and your food, and of course your animals and, and your plants, plants you know, yeah. anything that's living, like all of that has to be arranged and taken care of. And I guess they would be paying for a hotel for us, but Again, it's not just a matter of getting us, you know, move, removing yourself from the building. It's getting all your stuff taken care of. Right. Sounds like a big pain in the butt that we're going to have to do at some point in the Right. Very, yeah. Very regardless. Yeah. Regardless of whatever it's done, it's going to be a big pain in the butt. Dang termites. Pass. I know. Stupid termites. Hey, Brendan. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Termites. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna spend the next about 24 hours packing, getting ready to go. Brendan will be in school tomorrow, so I guess I will spend the next 24 hours packing and getting ready to go. You wanna show this jerry rig perch that you made for pillow? <laughs> not really, it's kind of embarrassing. It's kind it's of not, awesome It's though. not very good. And basically we designed this perch to, so that pillow, when he comes out, he doesn't have to go underneath like chairs and tables where there's like this little bar that he can sit on but we can put it on a table or something. I think they sell these things, but yeah, we... Why buy it when you can make it yourself <laughs> well, well? Too lazy to go to the pet store, so I just like jury-rigged something and it's not very good. And so if you want to show it, you can. Yeah. I guess I'll, we talked about it. So we'll we definitely have, show we it. We kind of have to show it now. Here's the perch. Pillow had some millet before, which is why there's like some little millet seeds. We need to clean those up, but here's the perch. It's an old watch box mm. with two sticks <laughs> inserted into it. And I attached some millet with some binder clips so that hopefully he would be enticed to land on it. So far, he's he's afraid of it. So <laughs> I'm hoping if we leave it outside of the cage long enough, he'll get curious and he realize it's not a threat. And at some point, he'll get hungry and go <laughs> eat the millet because that's his favorite food. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. So it's it's two halves of a watch box taped together. And then this masterfully is done, I might masterfully done. Masterfully taped together. <laughs> And then this is a stick. This isn't even like a bird perch. This is like a stick Brendan found outside. Right. And it's better though because you know it's natural. It's natural, <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like nature's nature's perch. And then we <laughs> branches, sticks. That's what most birds land on. They don't purchase them from Petco. So <laughs> yeah, not like this sucker up here with the the uh, sandpaper on it. But then anyway, then we've got the we've got the millet clipped onto the end with a paper what's it binder called clip. a binder clip sorry binder clip so here's and it's on both sides so he has options of whichever side he wants to stand on i think it looks inviting don't you i think it looks great what do you think pillow do you like your do you like the perch that uh daddy made for you i don't really think he does He's like, yeah, he's actually kind of scared of it. He's, really yeah. he's like, what is this robot with stick arms kind of? Yeah. And then we had one other thing we wanted to show you in this kind of random talky vlog. We got a piece of fruit at the store the other day, and it's called a fee. Fioha? Fio. 
Kevin is amused at my hey, ignorance. Hey, um, I'm gonna go. Ch I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go find this fruit. We're gonna try it because we like trying new f new fruits and new foods around here. Let's go. You wanna go try some fruit, bub? Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's the fruit. It's spelled F E I J O A. So I'm assuming that's Feihoa. Fei or Jihoa. Jihoa. And it says product of New Zealand, and it's just a little. Fruit. It's actually gotten slightly bruised. I only bought it about two days ago, and it's already getting a little bruised and withered. So, uh, let me let's rinse it off real quick. All right, ready? Okay, watch your fingers. I'm gonna cut here. All right, what color do you think it is on the inside? I have no idea. Let's take it. Let's take a guess. What color? What open oh, and see? All right, you don't want to guess. All right, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say it's light green. You don't want to take a guess? No. No. All I right. say white. Kevin says white. All right, and I say light green. Let's see. Ready? Oh. oh, interesting. It, it's kind of the same. It, it look, yeah, it looks like flowers. All right, it looks like a little flower on the inside. Yeah. What's it smell like? It smells like star fruit. Yeah, what? it has kind of an, uh, yeah, vaguely like an apple. But it's kind of this peachy, orangey kind of color. Come All right, well, I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat the rind or not. What on earth do you do with this thing? All right, just just to be safe, I'm gonna cut the rind off. We just got this little pulpy stuff on the inside. All right, you wanna eat some of this pulpy stuff? Here, you can have the smaller piece. All right, ready? We're gonna eat the feihoa. How about you eat first and I'll... <laughs> All right, ready, mommy, you'll eat it first. Oh, it's good, it's tasty, eat it. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. I like it, do you like it? Yeah. I want to eat all of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to say some for you, too. Okay, well, here, let me cut the... I don't know if you eat these rinds or not. Yummy. This is really good. I wonder what you... You probably makes make whatever with this. I don't know. I've never even heard of this fee fruit hoa. before. I saw it at the store it's the other day. The feihoa. Feihoa. Fee oh, feihoa. Fee oh, let's give some to Daddy. It's yummy, huh? Yeah, kind of interesting. It's really good. Here, wait. Let me cut this in half. I want more. <laughs> I want more. Here, you take Mommy, it. Mommy, if yeah. you do this, it looks like a pentagon. It does look it like does. a pentagon here. You're right. That is a pentagon. It right? is a pentagon. Good, good job. job. This is really good. It's like part citrus, part pear or something like that. It's interesting. Yeah, it has sort of a pear flavor. But then it also has a slightly tropical mm -hmm. flavor. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, it doesn't taste like passion fruit, but it has that sort of jelly kind of stuff with the seeds in it, the way passion fruit does. Could I have some more of it? Well, it's kind of gone. It was $2 for that. I think we each got like, he and I each got two tiny bites and Kevin got one tiny bite. So, <laughs> um, it's not, not a cheap fruit for what you get, but it's really good. I'll go look online and see if we can eat the rinds. Okay, so, ooh. Sorry. So I just peeled off some of some of this stuff that's closer to the rind. I just cut off a piece of that and ate it. That's pretty sour. And I looked online. One thing said you could eat the whole entire fruit, but then other things, other sites said don't eat the skin because it's gonna be too sour. And at least based on this one, that's accurate. This is not very pleasant to eat. So just the middle part. Oh look, here's some more flesh. You want this little fleshy part on the inside? Yes. Anyway, so that was the fihoa. We wish it was bigger. Oh. Can they eat the inside? Is it sour? No. That part's not. Right, no. Anyway, but we won't be eating the rest of this. But ah! <laughs> <laughs> fihoa mouth. <laughs> so I was sitting here folding clothes, and Brendan's with me, and we noticed that Pillow got on his perch all by himself. Yay! He got used to it, I guess. Hello. <laughs> I guess that millet was good bait because I don't think he would have gotten on there without that millet there. Oh goodness. <laughs> so that's it. Brendan and I are headed out tomorrow night, but we will be live streaming and vlogging from DC. So be sure to check back and see what we're up to over there. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time. And check out our other channel, Kevin and Krista Extras, which we will link below. Bye.